He already harmed me, Arties, and welcome to Medieval Technology. Today, we're going to talk about gears, and it's going to be a little bit of a bummer. But let's start with the good stuff. So these are gears. There are a lot of gears. Okay, let me zoom out. This wobbly, wobbly turning is really annoying. Uh, so these are gears. They're working fine. We have a lot of gears right here. And they all work somewhat well. This world is starting to lag, so you might notice it. Uh, so we have a bunch of gears here. Pretty cool. Cool stuff uh, that we can uh, play around with. Uh, there will be a workshop link down below for you that want to load up the world. Warning for lag though. Uh, so gears are pretty cool, uh, or this gear reduction is pretty cool. Uh, for those of you that don't know what gears and gears reduction do, uh, I'd recommend if you're actually interested to do a google search for what gear reduction is and it will tell you more about it and it will tell you in a much better way than i can uh, but the point of gear reduction is to decrease the speed and increase the torque so uh, the torque is the actual weight sorry about that uh, is the actual weight that you can move with this rotation i think that is the most the best explanation I can do. Uh, so this specific setup here is a four teeth a toothed to a eight toothed gear, which means that two turns on this guy is one turn on this guy or one revolution. Uh, and here we have a, a four tooth to a twelve toothed gear, which is on something else. I haven't bothered actually calculating it uh, because there has been a lot of problems with this. Uh, you can also do the other way around before I start talking about the problems. Uh, you can have... That's not what I meant to do. Uh, you can have a slow rotation turn into a faster rotation by putting... Or by driving the larger gear into the smaller gear. As you can see here that the, the, the small gear is spinning faster than the large gear. So there we go. So let's turn that off. Uh, so over here I have some examples of what you could use this for. There aren't really many uh, that I could think of that actually turned out to work. But if we just take this little car here and we try to, uh, well, make it move. We're not able to. We're kind of a weak astronaut in certain cases. Uh, but if we take this one, a 4 tooth gear to a 12 tooth gear. This specific setup is the most efficient one I've been able to make. We can actually move the car now from not being able to move it at all. So that is a pretty cool thing you can do with it until it locks up because it does that. <laughs> so you can't stand on it while driving it because your mass or whatever the physics of the player actually stops the thing from moving. So that is a downside as well. So, to summarize that little rant or whatever that was, uh, the, the gears actually work. We are getting an increase in torque, so th it is working the way that we would think it would work, or the way it would work in real life, but there is a downside. Uh, because these aren't actually perfect gears, and we are having, like, we don't really have a good um, uh, ball bearing or anything like that, when you start upscaling this, as I've done here, this is just two of, of these smashed together or built in together uh, to achieve an even higher gear reduction and uh, get more torque out of, out of this build. Uh, we're actually getting less torque out than we are putting in. And that's not nice. Uh, usually in the other builds we get more, but in this case we are getting less. And that is all the other way on the side of what we want to do. This is not what we want. We want more torque, not less. So this isn't really good. And uh, my theory behind this is that the more weight we add to this system and these gears aren't really... They don't have a lot of extra weight to them. Uh, they have a little, they can be made smaller and more efficient, but in the end it doesn't really change that much. Just the general weight and all the, uh, the friction areas where the 
tier uh, the, where the different gears touch. Uh, there's so much energy lost in this build that in the end it's not worth it. And I have a prime example here, a really really prime example. Uh, we have, if we go past this, uh, getting a lot of lag. We have two big gates that will open. These two gates are connected uh, to this, to these two gears on the side, which are connected to this, uh, this shaft with gears on the ends. Uh, so where you have a, uh, we have eight gears going to 12 gears so this is a gear reduction we're getting more torque out of this place and this is a four gear uh, or four toothed gear connected to a 20 tooth gear which is a five to one uh, reduction which means we should be getting a lot of torque out of this uh, but as you can see we're not even able to turn it what we're doing here is we're moving the play we're just uh, changing the positions of the gears. They aren't actually moving anything. You can see if you look at that gear uh, while I turn this you can see it's not even nudging at all and that is the downside. It isn't practically usable because of all the losses and that kind of brings us uh, and uh, just just a small demonstration here so that you can see that it's not the system that is uh, inherently not working if I zoom out oh we're slowing down so much and just walk into the door <laughs> you can see that the entire system is moving while I'm uh, opening the door so if you close the door again by just walking at it you can see that both the door closes as well which is pretty cool and uh, we close the doors as best as we can we take a rope drum and connect it to the door we can actually move the door and the entire system without gear reduction just turning this rope drum so let's uh, find a good angle here can we there we go now you can see that all the gears are moving and if we look the doors have opened so the rope drum if you're trying to move something really heavy use the rope drum uh, it's the most viable solution right now maybe we'll have some form of uh, gear reduction in the future it's going to be really cool uh, if we get it, but uh, just using the physics, uh, there's too much uh, energy loss here and there for it to be viable. Uh, so if you have any ideas for something to build or create in this game, leave it in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like. If you didn't, feel free to leave a dislike and I shall see you other next time.